And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gangplank's Fate. We're going to be playing this deck with a different region than normal. Usually when you play Gangplank and Twisted Fate together with a whole bunch of Bilgewater cards, you usually see that with Noxus because Noxus has some great damage um, enablers or you know great things that, that are doing damage like Noxian Fervor and, and so on. But we're going to actually be heading on over to Targon and playing it a little bit more value oriented. Targon gives us another really good quality one mana card with Solari Soldier. Uh, but then we, with our spells, we're going to have Pale Cascade and Bastion. A couple of just good um, good value-oriented spells. We have Bastion being our protection for our Twisted Fate or our Gangplank. Be able to buff them up a little bit, give them the spell shield. Also Pale Cascade, just being super efficient. You know, Pale Cascade um, usually trades with an, an additional card from our opponent, but then also draws a card for only two mana. Um, awesome card there. Top end, we got a double up. This card can be very good with powder kegs. You know, we got, um, get some powder kegs in here with our petty officer, dreadway deckhand, uh, gangplank. Um, yeah, then this thing can do even more damage. So it can do like with one powder keg, it'll deal three to an enemy, and then if it kills it, do five to the enemy nexus. Another powder, two powder kegs, we're dealing four and six, and so on. So that's just a pretty awesome card there. And then of course a couple of Riptide Rex at the top end. So mostly Bilgewater, but using Targon as our splash region. So let's go play five games over in ranked, and I'll hopefully have a little bit better luck here than what we've had with our first two decks. And the thing is, we haven't had the, the worst luck with our first two decks, and our decks have actually looked pretty good. Even though we only have one win in, in the 10 games, our decks have actually looked just fine. It's just on our opponent's side, everything, and, I'm, and I literally mean everything, has gone right for our opponent so far. So we're going to get rid of the Bastion. We're definitely keeping Petty Officer Make It Rain. That's going to be kept. I could see getting rid of Gangplank to yeah we'll go ahead and just mulligan gangplank it's a great top end card but we don't need it right away i'll wait on jagged butcher as well looking for trouble it found you hmm Looks like the trouble found you. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Fresh out of mercy. Love ya. Get the powder keg. Run if you don't. Um, do you think that five games is enough to rate a deck? I guess it really depends on what you mean by rate a deck. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Starts giving you, you know, like some good information of, of like how the decks perform against stuff like that, but um, no, prob like to, to fully know a deck, five games is not going to be enough. Time to make some coin. But I think it's... You know, it's just kind of a, a good uh, size, though. Like, you, you can really start seeing what's going on in five games. I think for our purposes, it's good enough. So single combat messes this up, but at that point I'd be trading my two mana Mega Rain for their two mana single combat. I just want to do that before they can have more um, tough cards. Sight. Here we go. 
not my first gun fight. Be nothing left when I'm done. <laughs> So I wanted to parlay and have the parlay kill them and be able to go to the double jagged butcher. It's definitely hoping that hoping that. Success. Get you noticed Double up. Here. Yeah, I guess I guess you're right. I guess I should have gone the other way with yeah, I should have taken the three damage. I'm used to Grizzled Ranger and the Loyal Badger Bear both dealing the same amount of damage. Um, but yeah, you're right. So I should have blocked first and then taken three from the three four. That would have been... healed me a couple. I'm always up for a round or two. Something for all. Of you. Smiling. New recruit reporting in. All right, let's just pass. Let's see what else they got. I could see them playing a Quinn here. With me. Oh. So now a double up doesn't kill that two-two anymore. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not playing this the best, am I? <laughs> the cards are not used to playing against, I guess. I don't know. Continue to be, I don't know, I'm just worried about like Ranger's Resolve, but like it's Ranger's Resolve doesn't really matter either way. Um, it would stop it either way, whether I play it right away or, or wait. We can finally get these Jagged Butchers to be 3-3s. Three I'm a people person. Finally. Soldiers, to me! Suppose you want in on this. I suppose I should leave you be. Let's get to it. So what's the problem with attacking with everything? Like I attack with everything, they have Scythria. No, it's just not worth it. Like they can kill two of my things with, with Scythria and um, Vanguard Bannerman, but then they're taking eight. Awesome draw. Keep up, keep up. Never mind. Follow my lead. Well, they should have just won this game. Clear off. They had le so they've had lethal twice now. Last turn, if they would have just attacked all out with everybody with the Scythria and that, they would, you know, with the Genevieve and stuff, they would have had lethal. And now this this turn could have had lethal again as well. So what's this one card in their hand? Is it Rally? Okay, it is Rally. I'm thinking like, what else could that card possibly be? Huh? Didn't see that coming. Alright, gotta do better. So they're gonna be really aggressive with the with the one drop, so parlay should be good. Right here. Um I'm just gonna keep Riptide Rex. Riptide Rex is just awesome. 
I already have a one, one, two, and three mana card, so it's not like I need to go look for cheaper cards. I already have something to play on turns one, two, and three. So by turns four, five, six, you know, we're gonna have a lot of draws by then. And I really want Riptide Rex at the top. And uh, of course they have the <laughs> the two two. Of course. Get bloody, get paid. All right, we'll try to have higher gun. Take that out. Bounty board, no With luck, your bounty covers half a meal. Good. I'm glad they didn't have their own parlay to kill my hired gun and, and do damage to me on no pray, no pay. That turn. See nothing left when I'm done. Hard to get rich. So I had to go with the deck hand here because the deck hand can block the jagged butcher, and that's definitely worth saving the three life. Let's get to it. Okay. Clear off. Love ya. So, how are we going to kill this misfortune? You just more one drops, go wide, attack for a bunch. Gonna force them to do some blocking. Make it interesting for me. Son of a that didn't work. Nah, it didn't work. Can't attack with Bark Beast, because they just block with Legion Grenadier. Who's gonna get in my way? Oh yeah, I guess I could have attacked him with a 2-1. So we'll have gold card plus parlay. <laughs> kind of expecting Jack the winner here. End round? All right, we'll end round. Hard to get rich. This means I'm not attacking with Gangplank. So I'm expecting Noxion Fervor, how they were like kind of waiting. I think they're waiting for me to go parlay and then they were gonna go Noxion Fervor. Stole the rations, check on the business. Talk for new leadership. All right, so the misfortunes make it rain. Hell of a day. And we'll just play the gangplank. Be a good card. I have Give that to our powder keg. They'll never see it coming. Mm. I should just be, be targeting the three one now. I wanted to see if they would play another misfortune. That's why I didn't want to play this thing first. I want to see if there's another misfortune. I should be, yeah, I should be targeting the petty officer.
Hmm. The first one does three. That doesn't really help. It didn't have that fervor. Like, that fervor was huge. The fervor dealt three damage to me instead of them taking five. It's a big difference between, you know, I take three or they take five. It could have been 12. Like, this would be 12 to three. It wasn't for that fervor. But they got 12 mana. Um, decimates cost five, so they can play two. Two decimates don't quite kill me. But they put me to one where just one spell would. We're probably going to be leading with salvage and just seeing what we get, what we go from there. The Russians, the prisoners. So eight mana. If we want to keep bashing up, that means we have four. So we have like petty officer plus parlay. Do I look like a patient man? I don't really want them just to attack with petty officer. But I also don't want to spend two mana on Mega Rain. Okay, good. So if they had an auction for you know, doing that gave me the opportunity to respond to an auction fervor if like that was the plan. And they only get one decimate in. That's pretty big for us. Wow, it's my first time getting a crusty codger off of a petty officer. Proud warriors of the sun's true light. Best one drop. What do I think about the Tom Soraka deck? I'm not a big fan. I I haven't been impressed with Soraka much. I think Soraka is the weakest of the champions. We're gonna try Soraka up next though, Soraka Swain. We'll see if we can uh, do well with that. I haven't yeah, like I have just haven't seen a Soraka deck do well yet. Alright, and Bastion should protect this game for us. Alright. Got the win. GG's. Will sing our tale this eve. Ooh, Tom. Tom Trundle. Tom Kent Trundle. So probably going with a bunch of Frostbite cards. We'll mulligan that, keep these other ones. Lari Soldier, turn one with the attack token. Living the good life. Time to make some coins. Yeah, I'm going to just keep the two mana for Mega Rain. We're going to lead with Petty Officer. Cool. Get, get a replacement 2 2. If they're out there, I'll spot them. Have them play something else. Now we make it rain. Uh -oh. And they get to draw their card, but we get another good 5 damage in. So that worked out just fine. My diet is expensively unique. Success gets you noticed around here. If I play deck hand, then then they just kill my powder keg. Guess we don't have to do that. Oh, I don't require the menu. Is this letting them off easy with just this being the attack? Should I play Petty Officer first? Like, what if they play Trundle? I go Petty Officer, or they go Trundle. Could have Rhyme Tusk Shaman. Oh, 
I think this is better. I think we're letting them let him off a little easy if we just go to attacks. You know, like just go like brittle steel or whatever, not take much damage. Winter take you. Puts him down to three. Point, I shoot. I just want to do, you know, as much Nexus damage to them. Shouldn't hold these kind of cards. What will you have? Ah, it's a good card. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. Gotta go with the flow. Spell Cascade could be good. I'll burn for what I've done. We'll go immediately to attacks. Ice runs in our veins. Let us peruse this establishment's fair. Don't stand in my way. For blood. Definitely wish this was a Riptide Rex turn. The problem with not playing anything Bitter first cold. is I don't get to draw a card from Pale Cascade. Let's talk about your dad. I've got meat bigger than you. Um. All right, perfect play against Pale Cascade. Perfect block and everything. Um, I mean, it's just the, the best block to be making in general anyway. I'm going to be going with trying to kill this Rhyme Tusk Shaman over due to extra damage to them. Got to find it another one last way to do it. Nexus damage, it's too and now. then we have Riptide Rex. He started without me. So hopefully we stop drawing just these small units. We draw some spells or Twisted Fate or something. Sure something there we go. That that works very well. So, Riptide Rex should finish this out. That was a perfect draw. Should be able to get this. Yep. GG. Whoa, 12 and 1. That was pretty good. Just 2 and 1. GG's. So this should be like Trundle with Ledros, and um, they're gonna have a bunch of Revitalizing Roar. This is probably Revitalizing Roar, Ledros, Atrocity. Um, don't want Parlay, don't. I mean, Hired Gun isn't doing a whole lot either. Yay! That Solari Soldier made our hand much, much better. Um, should be an Avalanche deck. It's like Petty Officer isn't even really that good. I could definitely see them just playing Avalanche. I like this Pell Cascade. Uh, I wanted the 2-4. So if I Pale Cascade that... No, we're, I'm just gonna hold on to Pale Cascade. Devotion to battle. 
So their Vile Feast just completely traded with my Petty Officer, plus gained them one life. It's pretty good. I want to higher gun this thing. Yay. We get to higher gun that thing. Alright, so this will be good Pale Cascade. Taking down that thing. So they have five cards left in hand, I have five cards left in hand. We now have the same amount of mana. We got some stuff in play though. Oh, we don't have the same amount of mana anymore, they play Catalyst of Aeons. So I guess we just take the pass. Take the pass, go to attacks. They're about to revitalizing roar. It doesn't look like I can stop them from revitalizing roaring. Gotta trust your instincts. Feel me in. Soak it in. Right, we're gonna we're gonna kind of go towards level leveling up twisted fate. I didn't want to go Butcher first because I wanted to have the six mana of like have like Bastion plus Pill Cascade. So what I like about Pill Cas so casting Pill Cascade keeps just keeps Twisted Fate at one health. I guess we'll go Bastion. What I really like about the Pill Cascade though is it draws another card towards level up Twisted Fate, but I guess that's not something that we want to do immediately. I can't let them just kill my Twisted Fate with another Vile Feast. Yay, no Revitalizing Roar. That's good. <laughs> yeah, our new expansion, we did get a ton of double S cards, didn't we? One mana short from being able to play Sprayfin and Pale Cascade. I have to play Pale Cascade on this higher gun to block. So it's what do I want to do with the other mana? And I, I guess it's nothing. Not my first gun fight. A whole bunch of Jagged Butchers and Solari Soldiers that I do not care about. Keep up, keep up. <laughs> I guess you can win them all. So we have Riptide Rex next turn. We're still, you know, in a lot of trouble with Ledros Atrocity. So I like seeing Grass the Undying there. That's not Atrocity. That's Atrocity. All right, so we get Red Card and Make a Rain hit them. Very good. Something for all. That was a hasty atrocity. Yeesh, dog, without. 
help me. GG's. Cause then we're gonna be able to go Jagged Butcher, Jagged Butcher, the goal card killed them, killed that thing, and we're gonna attack for lethal. It was in the Got card. it. I kind of feel like we were going to be able to kill them even if they went went and waited on Atrocity as long as they could. I think that we we're still going to have lethal, I think. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's hard to say. We'd have to like really look through it frame by frame. Bless the faithful and sear the heretics. Praise your weapon, Sunwood. Good turn for them. No mercy for heretics. I was thinking I was going to be getting ahead with my Solari Soldier, but they had one as well. I wasn't expecting that. Star Shepherd. Shape the skies and mold the earth. You're not going to do anything. Our time is over. <sighs> All right. Keep that thing from attacking. All that glitters. So we do have Sprayfin with one Pale Cascade next turn. I wish it was Sprayfin with two Pale Cascades. Three Pale Cascades. Even to their young bloods, we are nothing. Double pay for the next kill! They're not likely gonna have another sharp sight, right? If I attack with both of these, they could have four four block three one four three block two two. Trust your instincts. Yeah, that's fine. I really hope they don't have another sharp sight. Two out of five for gameplay. Never lost a fair game. We're played one. Gonna try to just gold card that thing and kill it. Hold it, partner. Kill Twisted Fate. Twisted Fate's got his back. So the next dragon is going to be cheap. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Dang, it really was cheap. The heavens Four, eight, ten. My attention. Such majesty. Fight spell. One more mana, Dreadway Deckhand with the parlay. Um. Would be cool. I don't think I parlay anyway. And do I wait for powder kegs for parlay? Or yeah, Riptide. Yeah, I guess we could draw Riptide Rex. I guess we wait. It would be sad if they play like multiple five mana dragons. It's like infinite mind splitter. I was gonna say like that would still, you know, like they'd still be able to play that card. Um, 
All right, going for level up Twisted Fate. My difficult second album. No, oh, that was one Riptide Rex gone. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. Alright, doing one damage to this thing. I know we don't do any Nexus damage. But doing one damage to that thing because that thing's going to be able to challenge Twisted Fate. So now I have two mana. I can play, you know, by getting the uh, blue card, I get an extra mana. I can play Make It Rain. That gives me red card. So red card takes down a Dragon Guard at Lieutenant. We live here. Please don't hurt them. You poor thing. Not the best Make It Rain, but oh well. Nope, I did not trust Make It Rain, and good thing I did not trust Make It Rain, because Make It Rain would not have killed the Dragon Guard Lieutenant. Something for all. So they just played another Sharp Sight, right? So that's their second sharp sight as far as blocking elusives go. So hope they don't have another. We're gonna go right to attacks. No, we got a Bastion available sure. also. For some extra pump. Be quiet! How middling. Man. Not gonna make it easy. No, Gangplank's not leveled. Now it is. It ain't easy. Dealing coins and We can try to get a whole lot of powder kegs next turn. Like next turn we can go like Dreadway Deckhand, Dreadway Deckhand, Gangplank. I have a bunch of powder kegs. Um, preferably after they attack so they don't attack and kill powder kegs. Oh, that's fun. We have like the 8 mana card that obliterates everything that costs 2 or less. I don't really want to lead with Solari you Shield. Them brawn, I'm afraid. Solari Soldier. I've become who I was always meant to be. Gangplank. Which deck make do you mean your Elise deck now? Like what 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 deck is my Elise deck? What is that? don't like all these Jagged Butchers and Solari Soldiers. It's just a lot of these games, like, we just end up with all of these little one and two mana cards. Just 
feels like our deck doesn't have the top end that it should have. I still haven't spent any mana yet. Yeah, no, no, like I, the Pale Cascade and the Bastion, both of those two cards were awesome. And whenever we had Solari Soldier on turn one, it was good on turn one. But we we had a, a big problem of drawing all these Jagged Butchers, Solari Soldiers, Dreadway Deckhands, Hired Guns, just all those things later on. Just didn't feel like we had an, enough top end, enough way to like actually win games. It just, unfortunately, I think I like the Noxus version a lot better of like the Noxa version being able to have all that um, Nexus damage and, and everything. Did seem like we need more Riptide Rex. I don't really know why we're only playing two. The double up never worked, but that's also kind of my fault too. I didn't play it the best. I could see it, but I feel like this could be a really good card for the, the Noxus version that does a better job with Nexus damage. So each one of these cards, like, individually, when you look at Jagged Butcher, Solari Soldier, Dreadway, Deckhand, and Hired Gun, each one of those cards individually are not bad. Like, none of those cards are bad cards. The problem is, is you start getting to, to too many cards that are just, you know, 2-2, uh, 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 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 too many of those cards that, that people aren't going to really die to 2-2s, two 2-3s, two two especially when you, when you get to, like, turn 5, turn 6, anything like that. Like, having one of these on turn one is good. Having one of these on turn two is good. But you don't really want to see them ever again. Dreadway Deckhand later on can at least, you know, give you a Powder Keg for Make It Rain or Twisted Fate, so it can do something there. I just kind of felt like, I don't know, just too much of these kind of cards. Parlay really wasn't very good. Could also be just our matchups. Like, against, against aggro, you're going to want to really overload on those things. And we only face, like, the one aggro deck... And we won that one, I think. Yeah, basically all those cards are good against aggro. So I guess we're 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 facing a lot of like the big mana decks, like the, the bigger decks with Nexus healing and stuff like that, and decks with avalanches and all the, those kind of things. But I, I liked Pale Cascade Bastion. Decks made for aggro and war mothers where you rebuild your board. Yeah, I, I definitely see it being pretty decent in the aggro matchup. They also have the ability to um, have more nex you know, nexus, direct nexus damage on you. I feel like we were missing something. I'd... So this was Cabo's deck. Cabo also gave us the, the Turbo Twisted Fate deck, and I liked this deck more. I liked I liked this you know similar kind of deck. I think this this deck felt stronger to me, where you know we're still playing basically the exact same Targon cards. But, I don't know, I, I guess, like, the difference here is, like, Black Market Merchant, Jaw Hunters, Pick a Card, Pilfer Goods. Black Market Merchant, Pilfer Goods, those cards are awesome. But I could see this deck struggling more against aggro than the other version. The other version with Dreadway Deckhand, and Parlay is going to be a lot better against aggro. This is going to be a lot better against your Aurelian Soul decks, or just your, your big decks, like how you have Nab. So, you, you know, it's kind of pick and choose what you want. You know, if you want to be playing against the, the slower decks, play this version. If you want, if you want to be playing against aggro, uh, would have the other version. All right, that's Gangplank's fate. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.